don't look for spouses on the bus. You are there for transportation, not for Tinder or for Grinder. If you are going a long distance, don't. If you have got weak immune systems like some of us, don't buy food in the road. Una tunda puna strings it up for How are you doing, YouTube? Been been bells. It's been long. I know I haven't posted a video in weeks, maybe even a month. But I'm back. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I missed. Uh, YouTube, I actually even put a post out there. I miss you, YouTube, and I've been busy. For those of you guys who have, like, you know, followed me, you can see that I'm, I was trying to build up my other social media platforms. Going really good. Thank you to everyone that's following, subscribing, commenting, vibing, sharing everything. So today we're going to talk about some things that you need to consider when using Zambian transport. You guys. You guys, you know I got you. You know I got you. So when using Zambian transport, there's some things that you need to consider. Stop this behavior. Zambian transport, things in Zambia, in fact, they are never at the actual price. <laughs> they are never at the actual price. If you are going to town, then if you want to buy something, you know, they'll tell you, you know, this is uh, let's say this is fifty kwacha. You're like I don't have fifty kwacha, forty-five kwacha. You'll be like, okay, bring. Real, real shops, real, real shops like game. If game has written something, let's say it's 19 quarter, we they put in 18.5, you won't get it. You understand? You won't get it no matter how much you'll wish. Her. You won't get it. Now, things in Zambia, things that people don't understand that things are never the actual price. So, you never actually see the amount that you have. You know, a bus from uh, downtown to Chawama in Lusaka is five quarter. But not when a four quarter, you can quell thy bus. <laughs> in this life, don't say the actual amount that you have if you're using Zambian transport. Unless you're a bit cautious. You know, some conductors who are like this, they want to play with you. But even you, Limbi Kila Mane. Once you say, okay, it's okay, Nzali Pila Chani. Sheteke. Limbi Kila. Limbi killer, ha! They never, never actually say your actual price. Row one, row two. Reduce. I haven't said don't, but reduce interacting, interacting with everyone in the bus. People don't give a damn about you. But most people don't care. They don't, they don't give a damn. They don't give a shit. They don't give anything. And you're there, he's trying to make friends. You're in the bus, you're getting transportation. You're not there on a friend's trip. Like, you know, you'll be sitting next to someone, and someone, that person starts telling you about their life history, and you just be like so confused, like, no wonder my robe went away now. But I could roll back a handbag, you and done. But many of you go, why are you going to push him? Because I can't show you how long roll. Be careful. <laughs> Don't interact, interact. Don't have a dwala. Ma dwala, ma shishita. Chimpuena. Kaja ka chimpuena kaja. Kavun ka kachoka. It has to come out. That shishita ness. It has to come out. You don't have to interact with everyone. If you're going to listen to the gossip stories, listen to the gossip stories. Don't even you. Hey, Chan. Hey, this. Don't. Don't let people become too familiar with you because once people become too familiar with you it becomes easy for them to rob you for them to mislead you you understand so don't become too familiar and one if you want oh and another reason another way to avoid a like to avoid looking bad so you know it, it might look rude yeah you might look rude by doing this but um, i mean it's the only way You remember, you remember my friends, the headsets, <laughs> headsets are a blessing, headsets are a blessing, repeat after me, headsets are a blessing, because you know headsets, headsets have got power guys, ha, it's not connected, but if I was just to do, if I just started this video like this, 
You guys think that's why I'm listening to, to music, right? So to avoid your neck getting cramps, you know, by telling those people what uh, in Lusaka of vendors pass by the bus windows, if you want to buy something, you can buy. But if you don't have money, like some of us, you know, are ever broke and you don't want to look bad by telling them we don't have money. And so one thing, when you tell them you don't have money, they have got this tendency for, um, no, okay, money has got okay, no, thing of telling, come thing, go, and stuff like that. So I'm not trying, I, don't get me wrong. But way to avoid that is using headsets. If you're antisocial, I know headsets have helped you one way or another. I've had, I've had antisocial friends, and I know headsets are headsets are powerful, guys. You can just put them on, even if your phone is not on, just put them on, and then just look somewhere else to avoid you wasting the vendor's time and your time, because you know most of the times. It, it becomes irritating where someone keeps on telling you no duh, just give me this and you don't have money you know you just just be like oh get this head in just paka vumo ke chave ah we ni ni kalama ne ni say please use headsets headsets give you a way to escape to escape oh it's Always find be an opportunist, you know. Be an opportunist when you are in a bus and you're going somewhere, and the bus is crowded. You know, the conductor is not paying attention. <laughs> Have you ever been on a bus for free? <laughs> oh, that conductor doesn't find me, <laughs> you know. When you see a window has opened, pass through it. We have all done this. If you have never, if you have never climbed the bus for free in Lusaka, I don't know if you've ever been in Lusaka. Because there's a time when we were going, I was getting on a bus from, I was coming back to Yabonga. So I was getting a bus from Kawata to Kamwala. Then from Kamwala, I get on a bus from downtown or city market. Then I come back to Yabonga. So I was getting a bus from Kawata. I think. Now the conductor, if any music is on, wow, I don't know. Just kept on chatting with the driver, forgot about us, and you just know. Um, I was. Uh, it reached a point in Osaka when I every time I go out, I I get recognized by someone. So it, I wouldn't say it became irritating, it became intimidating, and uh, security issues. You understand, uh, anything can happen to you. So every time I leave Osaka, I'm in a daddy cap. And oh, every time I leave the house in Saka, I'm in a daddy cap and in a face mask, so no one can easily recognize me. Today, on my bus, I was quiet as on my phone. I didn't look at anyone. I didn't look at the conductor. I didn't speak. I didn't do anything. The conductor looked at me when we reached Kamala. He looked at me and I was about to give him money. He looked at me and looked away. So I was like, eh, hey, hey, what is going on? <laughs> when the bus stopped, um, people like. A lot of people wanted to get on the bus since the bus was going to Limacao. So, a lot of people wanted to get on the bus. So, the conductor came out of the bus and told the people I had to off by Kamala to get off. So, I thought I was going to pay him by the time I was reaching outside. So, when I dropped off the bus, the conductor was already making his way into the bus. He didn't give a damn about anyone. He just said, Let's go. So, I was like, Why not? I also don't even look at me as I'm a bad person. Three quarters of poor are watching this video. If not 95%, you picked money before in the road. What is the difference? <laughs> what is the difference? Tell me what the difference is. Because, guys, riding the bus for free, it was just so out of this world. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, I'm gonna find it. Ah, Lusaka buses. Oh. And Lusaka, one thing you need to ma you need to know about Lusaka buses, never, if you're going a long distance, don't, if you've got weak immune systems like some of us, don't buy food in the road. Big people pee themselves because they are about to vomit or they're about to have diarrhea. You cry, a big person crying so the bus can just stop so it can enter the bush. Don't buy things um, that that are selling off the street that if you have got a weak immune system but if you know the other people some of you you know 
you've got very strong immune systems my immune system you have the rock you can buy but some of us once we buy those things it's a, our stomachs just are turning and turning plus the motion of the vehicle i mean that's me that way it's crazy believe me it's crazy minimize on that and also when you are going when you're using a bus public transport is not aim for the window sit by the window the window is a gateway if someone puffs bruises uh, wheezes uh -huh, puffs wheezes shoulders parts whatever you call ichi sushi in your language you can easily open the window and get some breather otherwise have you ever been in a back seat? Then someone in front of you just releases a fart and the windows in the back seat don't open and you're just there like you're suffocating to death. <laughs> oh my god! Zambia, Zambia, Zambia is cool. Hmm. Sit by the window. Sit by the window. No matter what. Fight for the window. Like when you sit 38, but 39 is by the window. You just sit by the 39 window. I'm telling you, otherwise. And so, when you sit by the window, and if you're going, let's say, a long distance, it would even be better because you'll be seeing things. You know, Zambia, one thing about Zambia, when you're traveling, the road is interesting. Everything that you see by the side of the road is interesting. And the villages, they just look so, so, so what? So in touch with culture, so in touch with the ancestors. You know, it's just, it's just like a trip into history. Especially if you're on a road trip, going to eastern province um nah this copper belt provinces southern province these long distances if you have been on these roads you can actually tell that okay wow i'm actually seeing the way life was before technology because there's some places where there isn't electricity yet in zambia so that is i wouldn't say beautiful okay it is beautiful but it's also unfortunate but it's beautiful i mean it gives you a trip back into the past. I mean, how amazing is that? So, with these tips that I've given you, don't look for spouses on the bus. You are there for transportation, not for Tinder or for Grinder. It is a bus. It is not Tinder. You people who want to start vibing Mubas, you don't know the person, you don't know me, and you wanna flirt, you wanna vibe, guys. Ah, <laughs> I know I've spoken to some of your behalf, some of you guys who feel who feel like it's rude, you know, to tell someone to leave you alone. May I tell them, you know, leave me alone, please. I don't know you. You know, I'm someone who's always been afraid of strangers. I mean, strangers are creepy. Most okay, not strange, not all strangers creepy, but some strangers are creepy. You never know what the stranger's intention is. So, <laughs> at least I've helped you some today. You know, at least I've helped you some. So, don't go on a bus to look for a spouse. It is not Tinder. Join Tinder. Join at online Zambia dating sites. I that, that my apps at Zambia is created for lonely people to find even lonelier people. So. You know, interact not in the bus. Mubas team get a vibe. This You know, the, the times when you're vibing, then people ask for laughing at those vibes because they sound funny. <laughs> anyway, I'm asking about someone's parents as if you know them. Anyway, anyway, we are done for today. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, and don't forget to comment. Tell me what you guys think of this video. It's been so long ever since I interacted with. You guys on YouTube, I interact with people on Facebook, I interact with people on TikTok, on Instagram. But you guys on uh, YouTube, I miss you guys so much. Let's interact. And as you can see, we got the ring light. So, the lighting is on flick. Um, I'm out. <laughs>